car in southwest Baltimore last Thursday. Despite calls to police, the violence in Baltimore City has spilled over into the weekend. Right now, police investigating seven shooting cases, two of which are now homicide investigations. This happening on top of the shooting of seven-year-old Taylor Hayes. Alexa Ashwell shows us where the cases stand. Baltimore police fly overhead southwest Baltimore, where the latest violence has touched the city. Two-year-old man was shot here on Edmondson Avenue just before noon today. Is it on? And less than a half mile, a seven-year-old Taylor Hayes was shot while riding in a car last Thursday. A stop oh, the rally was held there today. The crowd small, yet passionate. The little girl was in a car, so she faced me. I got a ride around with my daughter hiding on the floor. For many families, Taylor shooting hits close to home, including Baltimore City Councilman Christopher Burnett, who represents the district. I feel like I let him down. Um, I feel like we are doing enough to, to help our family, to help deal with some of the issues that lead to gun violence, and certainly not doing enough to get uh, the perpetrators off the street um, or harming our communities. Across Baltimore this weekend, seven people were reportedly shot, two of them killed including a 40-year-old man in northeast Baltimore, then a 22-year-old man in the south part of the city. Initially, medics told police he had been shot, but surveillance later showed the victim being struck by a car. Investigators hopeful an autopsy will provide more clarity. But if we show more love... The faith community also attending today's anti-violence rally. Together, coming up with solutions for peace. Our work doesn't stop. Um, today, tomorrow, I mean, it's going to be a long road ahead, um, and a lot of healing needed for our community. Alexa Ashwell, Fox 45 News. Well, the violence not contained in the city, Baltimore County Police investigated...